Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put the mask on the top and we're just using the other half of our vellum. And one of the reasons I use vellum is because each time it's just a little bit different. So I usually make a, uh, these masks a little bit different each time. So now I'm going to be starting with the daffodil delight because I want some highlights down here. I'm just going to do a little pouncing just so it kind of gives some little highlights here. So you can kind of see the difference between smearing and just come in a little bit so you can kind of see how that the difference. It's just, it's not sure if you can see it real well but you know it's more blotchy. And that's kind of what I want down here to go under my green. Okay, so now here we go. We're going to go with the green. And I'm using the old olive here. This is another one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to do a little pouncing here. So, you know, you can do a combination of different things here. But I like the way the pouncing effect kind of makes the grass uh, have more of the highlights. times too I trim off some of this bottom you know, it's kind of fine where I like how it's working and then I just trim off now I'm just gonna come in with my marker this is the old olive again and I'm just going to uh, right where the little hills are I'm just adding a little bit more of the old olive. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to just kind of pounce. I'm just trying to get a little bit more shadows and stuff, you know? Okay. Can you see those shadows kind of coming up now? And I just keep working with it until I get it the way I want it. So. I don't know that I've got the grass thing technique down perfectly yet but I'm just playing and eventually I'll, I'll develop it the way I like it but I've had a lot of people asking me about how to do this technique so I decided to go ahead and try it so as you can see I, I'll probably uh, I'm holding the pen. I'll probably kind of cut it out, cut it off about there. And I'm going to take this vellum off and show you what it looks like. Pull it up off here. 
And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. It's amazing what you can do with the stamping up uh, inks and a few sponges and just a piece of paper and a stamp. So this will make a great card. And I hope you give this a try. Let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, check out SharonScrappySpace.com for more ideas on how to do techniques like this and some other uh, projects using Stampin' Up! products. And I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator.